Hi guys, it's time for another cool feature of our operating system. Now, this is the content of my SD card. I've got a music folder in here, I've got a videos folder in here. You can name them whatever you want. You can name it movies or whatever you like. Now, there's the Pandora folder. This one is special. Inside this is an app data and an apps directory. As you may probably know, you can download applications and games as PND files. These are full games. For example, this is Chiana's Return. It's a 21 megabyte PND file. You can simply download it and put it onto your SD card. Here's Open Beats of Rage, Sea Dogs, Super Tux, Alphon. I've got a few games in here. So, you see, every file, every PND file I put in here will automatically appear on the desktop or on the P menu if I simply insert the SD card. And as soon as I remove the SD card, they will disappear again from the menu or desktop. So it is all automatically. If you don't want the games on the desktop, but only in the start menu, simply put them into the menu subfolder. So you can have your few favorite games directly on the desktop and all other games, if you have 50 or 60 or games installed into the menu. It's as easy as that. Some games, as you might know, like Quake 3 or Open Beats of Rage, need application data, so they need data files. For that, there's the app data directory. For example, if you go into the Gianna directory, there's the config file of Gianna, and it's saved inside this file. Also, your high score and all your configuration files are saved there, or the data, for example, the Quake packs or the files for Beats of Rage. So, let's see how this will work on the real Pandora. The same thing will also work with PMenu, the minimalistic GUI from uh, CPayJust. But let's just see, I pop in the SD card and then instantly on the desktop there are the icons of all games on this card. So now I can simply, for example, select SuperTux and press enter to run it. Well, and then SuperTux will load up and you can play.